In this episode, I'm going to talk about the task manager. So if you want to update something uh, every frame, you should do a so-called task. And uh, here, uh, if you search for Panda 3D task manager, open up the second link, not the first link, which points to Trello.com. Open up the second link and you will find some really uh, good and in-depth explanation about the tasks and uh, the, the task manager. So you can create functions and these functions, if you if you add these functions or methods to the task manager, these functions or methods will be called every frame. And these uh, methods has to have to return the task that count if you want to call the uh, method or function in the next frame or task that done so the task function may return either task that count to indicate that the task should be called again next frame or task that done to indicate that it should not be called again and so in here it also task again perform perform the task again using the sum delay as initially specified. I'm just going to show you a very simple example, uh, but you if you want to know more, just go to this documentation and read through it and try it out yourself. So here is let's say how to do. Uh, something with a delay so you can add task manager the do do method later give it a delay delay time give it the function and also the task name and yeah okay i'm just going to show you a very simple example so i have this um, animated actor model and i'm just just want to move it every frame to the right slowly so here I'm loaded the animation I'm also set the position of this um, arm on the Y 40 um, units and also represented this to the renderer and also called the arm that loop anim1 so now let's do the do a separate method I'm going to call it let's let's say update and after the self you have to add a second argument called tasks and um, if I go back to the documentation here it says that we should return the task that count which stays for continue to actually call this function or method every frame so i'm just going to return return the task that count so now it will be called every frame and in each frame i'm just going to slightly update the arms position so self dot arm dot set position set position and uh, i'm also going to talk about the so-called state changes which is the set position set uh, rotation, set scale, and this uh, stuff in, in an upcoming video. And set position, so set position takes either free values, x, y, z, or a vector free. I'm just going to add for now, I'm going to move it uh, two units on x. So for now, I'm just going to zero out everything. And here I'm going to create uh, self dot x and it will start as zero and the self dot x I'm going to copy this into set position as a first argument argument which is, which is this uh, x and uh, I'm also going to update the self dot x self dot x plus equals let's say 0 0.002 so a very small amount so let me see and 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 of course <laughs> we just created this function or method uh, 
but we didn't add this to the task manager so you can do that by self that uh, task 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 manager so this is also a built-in uh, which gets automatically set up so self the task manager that add and the first is the method itself which is called self dot update update and this is only a reference uh, or reference to the function or the method so you don't have to uh, put here the parentheses and the second argument to this function is the name of the function so i'm just going to name it update and uh, let me run it okay i don't know if it is moves or not but probably yes but it moves just with a very very slowly so now it is moving to the right so on the x-axis the problem with this is actually here i set the arm that set position 0 40 0 but when this update uh, calls gets called uh, it sets back to self that x 0 and 0 so i'm just going to set here also the y to 40 and now let's run it now as you can see it very slowly moves towards the right so if you also want to move let's say on the z-axis i'm just going to create a cell that uh, z and i'm going to copy this and paste it here so remember uh, z is the up down so and i'm going to add to self that z i don't know 0, 0.0 0 mm, five and now let's see so it now moves a little bit up and also a little bit to the right if i move the camera so uh, if you want to know more about the task manager which is built in as i said just go and search for this as uh, panda 3d task or panda 3d task manager and you will find a lot more than uh, i want to talk about